If I introduce myself, I'm uh, your chair for the afternoon, this afternoon's event. Um, uh, my name's Graham Fairhurst. I'm a, an engineer, uh, proud of that. <laughs> uh, spent most of my career in local government. Um, latter part of it, I started to become interested in SUDS. This is now some time ago. Seems like only yesterday, but it was before the millennium, believe it or not. Uh, working on the National SUDS Working Group, and from that I was encouraged to join DEFRA in working on the Floods and Water Management Act, particularly advising on SUDS. And uh, it's a little bit frightening that from that point we haven't really uh, managed to come up with a viable mechanism for consistently delivering SUDS. We know what SUDS are about, we know they can uh, deliver good performance, but we haven't really given them the infrastructure and the hobby horse of mine, the process around which they uh, can be uh, delivered by the industry at large. I, I won't go into too much detail about that. I think many of us in this room will, uh, will understand what I mean by that. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody for coming. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a good event. We've got some uh, really good speakers, uh, I think, for this afternoon. So we should have some uh, good presentations. I hope... Uh, from you, from the audience, we'll also have uh, some good questions and good debate arising from that. Um, the event is uh, obviously under the auspices of Syria and the Sustrain project, which is, uh, you can tell from my age that this was a, uh, a really with it expression at the time. The, the, the Sustrain really is where it's at as far as SUS is concerned, as I, I, I feel. Um, it's an excellent forum. Everybody I contact uh, who um, uh, basically is in the SUDS world and I, I spend quite a bit of my time overseas now in Norway. Uh, when I introduce them to the SUDS website they are all overwhelmed by it. Wow, there is so much good stuff on it and uh, just the way it works, uh, comments, blogs, everything works really well and there's such a huge resource there. So I'd encourage people to, to contribute and actively use it. Um, if I, uh, I need to uh, talk a little bit about some housekeeping issues. Uh, there's no planned fire alarm uh, uh, for this afternoon, so if the alarm does go off, it will be a real one. And we all must assemble outside. Across the road, just a little bit in that direction, is a public house called the Old Red Cow. And we shall assemble outside the Old Red Cow. Um, there is a uh, code on the door uh, to get out of the building, 1478. Uh, I assume that one person will have pressed that and the rest of us can then hold the door open for the next person if that's what's needed. Um, the uh, toilets are just outside in the, in the corridor. Um, I'm sure most people have found them already, but just down that way uh, on uh, the end of this little corridor. <coughs> Uh, the seminar uh, is going to be recorded um, and, the, and filmed, and that will be on the Sustrain website uh, within a month or so. Uh, so that, that uh, uh, will, uh, will be an, another asset uh, for the, the website. Um, today's uh, focus is, well, it's entitled um, Celebrating Suds, Converting Challenges into Opportunities. Um, and essentially, it's about delivering suds in difficult places. And that's the, probably the most common excuse why suds aren't delivered, that this site is too difficult or suds won't work on this site because. And I'm hoping that today we're going to have uh, the opposite argument why suds actually uh, are an opportunity uh, and capable of meeting the challenges and converting sites which are difficult into uh, bringing them into beneficial use. Um, particularly, the, um, hoping that the speakers will show us that uh, how suds are effectively integrated into the wider scene, into places, and particularly into transport, because again, this is often an excuse why suds can't be delivered. There isn't the space on this site by the time we've put in the trans transport infrastructure, by the time we've done some landscaping. Uh, some car parking, etc., etc. There's no room for suds, and I think most people in this room will understand that that isn't the case. But it will be good to have some uh, 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 examples showing how joined up uh, planning and delivery of schemes, where transport, landscape, parking, 
and placemaking all work together and um, it doesn't make uh, the site expand. Um, we're bringing together uh, practitioners and policy makers, designers um, from uh, uh, a number of parts of the UK, I hope. And the work, uh, well, uh, some good work being done in recent years. Uh, we're going to obviously, hopefully, identify some real successes, uh, uh, converting those uh, successes from challenges. But what I hope also, and it's a hobby horse of mine, is that we're, we're going to also identify the process through which that's happened, because that really is how we can uh, convert experience from one scheme to another by understanding the process that was used, what legislation maybe was behind something, what influencing of stakeholders had to take place, and how that was made, that process was converted into uh, translating the challenge into an opportunity and a success. Um, the uh, Sustrain uh, is now kicking off into a new phase. Uh, it's now into its third uh, uh, two-year term. Every two years it is refreshed. Uh, we have new stakeholders within it and we're just now embarking on the, the third term. So it's appropriate to step back and to look at some of the work that we've achieved and are continuing to uh, a, a achieve by championing uh, SUDS. So this event really is part of celebrating that achievement and the way that SUSTRAIN has now become embedded into uh, uh, the SUDS culture uh, of the UK. Um, what I would like to do is um, do a show of hands within the audience, please. Uh, for um, we, we always do this, but it is useful to understand um, where you all feel you belong. So <laughs> I, I've got some categories here, and I know if, if someone was to ask me, what are you, Graham? I would say, well, I'm an engineer, but I've sort of morphed a little bit into planning. I've always been a bit interested in architecture. I've become a bit soppy and soft and communityized uh, around the edges latterly. So I'm quite into placemaking and those sorts of things. But uh, I'm an engineer anyway. Uh, who, uh, landscape architects and urban designers, who would uh, categorize yourselves as that? So we've uh, five or six. OK. Uh, local authority planners. I know we've got one. Three. Three, yes. OK. Um, uh, flood risk managers in local authorities. Uh, we've three, four-ish, yes. Um, uh, general planners. No. Drainage engineers. Oh, grief, we've a lot of those. That's good. <laughs> Uh, well, on to just a minute. Hands up, please. Uh, we have a good oh ten, I think. And <coughs> um, uh, others then. Um, <laughs> good grief. Um, okay, I won't uh, probably detain and try and draw out what you all represent, but uh, that's good. Uh, I think uh, we um, uh, obviously suds because it goes across the whole built environment. It does touch upon uh, lots of people who are part and parcel of creating that, from developers, uh, designers, contractors, regulators. Uh, and uh, we, we obviously have got a, a good body uh, of representation in the, in the audience. Um, I should thank the uh, partners and supporters of Sustrain. Um, but for Sustrain, we wouldn't have this event. And but for those partners and supporters, we wouldn't have Sustrain. They are the infrastructure of Sustrain. So uh, I would like to thank them. Um, to assist you all in marshalling your thoughts and perhaps getting maximum value out of today, um, I'd like to leave you with a, a few thoughts. Um, possibly the first one is, if you could think of a eureka moment when you felt that... Um, a project turned from a discussion project and might be into something, uh, into a reality. Uh, if you can think of any of those sorts of events in your world of work, uh, that, that would perhaps be useful to see, uh, see how that uh, works. And uh, an interesting uh, uh, 
prompt here is if you were given access to government and uh, you had one suggestion to make that would enable SUDS to uh, be more securely delivered, um, it, it would be useful if you could think about what your wish would be there to, in terms of that question. I think if those help you marshal your thoughts, then maybe we can have some interesting uh, debate later on. Um, I think I've probably said enough now as, uh, by way of introduction. And I think we move now to the, um, uh, the first presentation. Oh, sorry, uh, we will have obviously ample time at the end for questions. <coughs> and when we do move into that, uh, uh, there will be a roving mic. Uh, so please wait for that to be delivered to you. Uh, please say who you are and who you represent. And uh, I would really would encourage people to contribute uh, to, to that debate. Uh, I think that's how we all get maximum benefit out of an event such as this. Okay, um, I would now uh, call on the first uh, presentation, who is uh, Andy from the Wild, uh, Andy Graham from the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. Okay, Andy. 